Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and today we are going to talk about how you can build a calendar event website uh, using the events calendar and using a theme called Cadence and their starter templates. So um, in order to do this, you will need to have the Cadence theme installed and you'll need to have the events calendar installed. Both of these have a free version and I'll show you how to install those here real quick in the dashboard. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so here we have a fresh install of WordPress. Um, I have installed the Cadence theme and I've installed the events calendar. Um, you can install both right here through the dashboard. If you go to Appearance Themes and click on Add New, you'll see that Cadence is actually one of the options in the official WordPress theme repository. Um, and then the same thing goes for plugins. If I go over here to Plugins, Add New, and if I just search for Calendar, you have events calendar right here. So you can click install, wait a little bit, click activate, um, and you'll be good to go. Now I haven't installed the starter templates yet. I wanted to go ahead and show you that. Um, once you install the Cadence theme, you'll see this option up here to install Cadence starter templates. So let's go ahead and click that button. And this is going to install basically another plugin, um, which will give us some options. So <clears throat> right here, we have a bunch of starter templates that we can use to build a website. You can see some of them are only available with Cadence Pro. Um, you can come up here to filter. I'm going to look for the free only ones. And you can just scroll through here and see that there's a lot of different starter templates that you can use for various things, just to kind of give you a head start on building a website. So the one that we're looking for is an events template. Here it is. I'm just going to click on this you can change the color scheme if you want. I'm going to leave it uh, the way it is, but uh, there's a bunch of different options here you can choose. Uh, you can also change the font family. And then it's recommending to install Cadence Blocks. I'm not going to be doing that for this demo, but Cadence Blocks is a, basically it's just a, uh, it's like the Gutenberg block editor on steroids. It's, it's uh, vast improvements on the, the native block builder that comes with WordPress. Um, so it, it enhances a lot of existing blocks. It also adds some new blocks that you just don't have available to you uh, with normal Gutenberg. So definitely check out uh, Cadence Blocks if you're into the block editor. Um, if you think Gutenberg's good, you're going to love Cadence Blocks, okay? Um, so definitely check that out. And I'm going to choose full site for the import options here. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on skip start importing. And this is actually just importing that entire demo site that we're looking at right there. So once this is done, we'll see the whole, basically a whole website pre-built and we can just go through and kind of edit things to match, you know, whatever we're doing, match our business or our organization. Um, I do want to point out that you don't need to use this Cadence starter template to build an event website. You can use any starter template. You can not even use a starter template if you want. Um, but I just wanted to show you that there are a bunch of different starter templates for various things. Um, I believe they even created one for membership sites. If you're, if you want to create a membership site, um, you can see as you're scrolling through, they had one for, you know, fitness and a coffee shop, just all sorts of things. You don't have to start with one of those starter templates, but, um, some of them are just designed with certain things in mind. And so it can make your life a little bit easier. This is one example. This this template that we're using here is just the whole thing was built with events in mind. And so if you're building an event website, um, it might just be a good idea to start with the events template, but it's not required. OK, so as you can see, it's finished the import. Um, I'm going to click here to view the site just to see what it looks like right off the bat. Here we go. Like I said, we have a full blown website already built. Now, obviously, you're going to want to change some stuff. <clears throat> it's very unlikely that you will just, you know, launch this as it is. Um, but it's just a really good, you know, place to start. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it's like to create a quick event using the event calendar plugin um, so that when we click on um, the event calendar, as you can see right now, there's nothing there. But after we create an event, we're actually going to see, you know, some cool stuff here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now there's about four different ways to create a new event. You can come up here to events and click add event. You can come over here to new and choose event. 
We can go to the back end of our website over here to events and add new. Lots of different ways to get to the same spot. Um, but uh, however you want to get there, just make sure you get there. And we'll go ahead and give this event a title. I don't know, some event. Um, let's say it's happening tomorrow at, um, you know, let's go with a little bit later. It's at 4 p.m. Maybe it's going to go on until about, you know, 6.30 p.m. Um, you could choose if it's a multi-day event right here. For this one, I'm just going to choose a simple uh, single day. Um, come to our event and do stuff. Hopefully you're better at writing event descriptions than I am. Um, we're going to say this event costs, I don't know, $25. Here we go. Uh, fixed range, I'm going to say $25. Description, this is a, I don't know, whatever you want to put there. You don't have to put anything there. Maybe we'll just leave that empty. Um, you can add or find an organizer. Now, I haven't added any organizers, so um, you, nothing will show up. Same thing for venues. Um, but uh, if I want to add an organizer, you know, you can, you can start typing. And if there's one that exists, it'll show up here. But since none exists, we can just click create. Um, so phone, you know, 8675309, that sounds good. Website, um, somecoolorganizer.com and uh, organizer at organizer.com, whatever. Just making stuff up here. But as you can see, it's very easy to just quickly create an organizer. Um, and we can do the same thing for a venue. Again, if we start typing the name of a venue, um, you know, if we've created the venue already, it'll show up here on the list. We can select it. Um, but since we haven't created one, um, then we have the option to just create one right here and we'll do that. Um, I don't know where this is. Uh, New York, New York. I don't even know what the zip codes are out there. Just making stuff up here, of course. Um, and Madison square.com who knows but um, very easy like you know like I said right right here while we're creating the event we can create organizers and um, venues we can also create those on the back end um, and you can just have a whole long list of various organizers and venues if you're doing all sorts of events and all sorts of different people are putting these events on and they're doing it on all sorts of different venues um, it's really easy to to keep track of all that so here we've created an event. It's happening tomorrow at 4 p.m. It costs $25. It's being put on by some cool organizer. It's happening at Madison Square in New York. Why not? Um, and let's go ahead and just click publish up here. And we'll click this to view the event. Okay, so here's the single event page. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we can see all the information that we put in before. Um, including a little map to the location. And if we go back to the home page, and if we go to slash events, here we'll see in list view we have the event. We can go to month view. And where is it? There it is right down there. Um, there's also day view, which there's nothing today. So if I click tomorrow, there it is. Um, and there's there's about six or seven, I think, different views if you upgrade to the Events Calendar Pro. Just just uh, throwing that out there. Um, there's a whole, I mean, there's a whole slew of, of features that come with the Events Calendar Pro. Um, everything you've seen here so far has just been with the free version. Um, so I would highly recommend hopping over to the eventscalendar.com and going to the Products tab and just checking out um, all the different things that that we have to offer there. Um, you know, there's events calendar pro, there's event tickets, there's virtual events, there's filter bar, um, you know, just all sorts of, of ways that you can enhance your calendar website or your event website. Um, so that is pretty much, um, pretty much it. I think for this video, I really just wanted to kind of give you a little intro to the cadence starter template features and, um, just kind of walk you through creating a quick event. Uh, we could actually one one quick little thing before before I go. Um, if I come up here to edit event, you'll notice there was no image here. And a lot of events, you know, you like to have a nice captivating image. Um, if we come down here to this plus sign and we just search for 
post featured image. Uh, we can drag that down here and I don't know, let's put it towards the top. Yeah, right on up there at the top, as far as it'll go. And then now if we come over here to event and scroll down to featured image, we can um, upload a featured image. I'm just gonna choose some random picture from the demo import. This looks good right here. Let's move my face out of the way. Let's put my face back. There's a picture, we'll click update. And now we'll go view the event. And now there's a picture there. So um, same thing, if we go to, if we view the calendar, um, there's a picture over here and list view. Um, you know, month view is not gonna look any different. We're not gonna try to cram a picture in there. Uh, but list view, it's nice when you have a whole bunch of events and it's just nice to have, you know, the picture showing there. Um, and of course, having the picture show on the single event page is kind of nice. And you saw how we could put that anywhere. I put it at the very top, you don't have to. You could put it anywhere you wanted to. Um, so yeah, that's it. Like I said, check out the eventscalendar.com. I mean, we didn't even talk about selling tickets. If you use event tickets, you can actually sell tickets to your events and collect money. Um, if you're doing virtual events and you wanna connect to like Zoom or, or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams or all sorts of things, um, you can use the virtual events plugin for that. So. I mean, really, whatever kind of event you're trying to do, um, we should be able to uh, be able to help you out and, and make the process as smooth as possible. Um, so check that out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.